for our cannolis today. It's going to be a little bit more involving than a normal video. We're going to need eggs, your choice of milk. I'm using dairy-free almond milk, flour, rolling pin, your board, your round cookie cutter, your measuring cups for half a cup, quarter cup, and one tablespoon, measuring cup up to two cups, your choice of coconut oil, cinnamon, and our mixing bowl. And you're gonna need lined parchment paper trays for the oven. We're gonna first grab our measuring cup and our flour, and we're gonna measure out for, for two cups. And then we're gonna go ahead and pour that into our mixing bowl. Next, we're gonna grab our tablespoon and do two tablespoons of ground cinnamon and mix it in well with the flour. A separate mixing bowl, I'm just gonna use a glass mason jar. We're gonna fill up our half a cup of our almond milk on sweeten. Pour that in the glass. Next up, a quarter cup of your choice of coconut oil. We're gonna mix that in with the almond milk. And third, we're gonna grab a large egg, crack it and open it and mix it in with the milk and the coconut oil. We'll grab a spoon, we'll mix it really good for a good 20 to 30 seconds until it starts looking frothy. We're now gonna take our mix and pour it into the bowl with our flour and cinnamon. And we're gonna to start to go ahead and mix that well together. Optional for a mixing glove. And it may take a few minutes, but it's gonna take a little while to really mix in um, all the liquids with the flour and the cinnamon. We're going to press and move it around really good. Um, if it's too dry, add a little bit of almond milk. And if it's too sticky of a batter, don't be afraid to add a little bit more flour in like I just did. I think we're good to go. Now that our dough is ready, grab your board and we're going to go ahead and sprinkle some flour on so nothing sticks from the batter onto your mixing board. We're going to spend a few minutes just doing some rolling and making sure, again, nothing sticks when we use our pin. And don't even be afraid to put some flour on the rolling pin as well. Um, it gets messy if there's not enough flour on it. So we're going to go ahead, start rolling it out. You can move it all around, flip it upside down. And once we get to about a quarter inch thickness, we'll be ready to go ahead and grab our round cookie cutter and start pressing in. Now we're gonna take our round cookie cutter. It's three inches in circumference. It's okay if it's a little bigger or smaller on your end. They're gonna come out just as great. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and press into the dough and we're gonna to try to get as many as we can out of the first roll from our batter. And that is about our thickness, quarter inch. Grab your pan with your parchment paper and we're gonna start placing them on our parchment trays. Once we have our dough finished and our cookie cutter circles pressed out, we're gonna go ahead and use the end of a, any mixing spoon. We're gonna go ahead and roll up our round cookies. And no matter what side, we're gonna go ahead and put one side over the other and start pressing firmly on so it sticks to each other and carefully slide it out from the end of the spoon. And that will give us our shape of our cannolis. And we'll go ahead and do that with the round. When all your cannolis are rolled, just press firmly down so nothing pops up during the baking process and we're going to go ahead and put these in the oven. Now that we're putting our cannolis in the oven, we're going to go ahead and turn on the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 20 minutes and we'll check up on it periodically. Our cannolis are done, they're nice and hard and firm. I would recommend after you turn off the oven to leave them in and let them sit for a few hours so they'll harden up and be dried out and uh, have a longer shelf life. Now that all our cannolis are hardened and baked and ready to be decorated, we're going to be using our grain-free yogurt frosting. We're just going to add water and then our carob, unsweetened carob chips as our chocolate chips. Now 
that we have our cannolis all frosted with our powdered yogurt and our carob chips inserted, you can certainly leave the cannolis the way they are. Or if you have any frosting left, you can drizzle over for a nicer appearance. Our cannolis are all frosted and ready for enjoyment. We just need to let them sit for about an hour or two for the frosting to dry. And then the most important part is the test. <laughs>